Nigeria's former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, has officially commissioned the Jamaica Grade Interchange named Adamawa Unity Bridge. President Obasanjo, who commended Governor of Interior's infrastructure drive, urged the governor to also give attention to rural infrastructure and security. Gibson Sodiago reports. The newly constructed Great Interchange is situated in the heart of Yola, the capital of Adamawa State. The project, which started on 30th August 2020, has about five features, including an underground pass, an overpass, CCTV cameras, and roads connecting multiple streets to ease intrastate transport. Governor Manuel Fintry, in a remark, vowed to sustain his infrastructure development efforts until all urban and semi-urban centers wear a befitting look, not only for aesthetics, but for the comfort and convenience of the populace and investors. He added that away from the state capital, the state government has carefully selected several semi-urban centers for infrastructural first lift. This is a project with a short but interesting story. Like most of our project, when we did the groundbreaking ceremony, skeptics went wild with their usual doubts. It cannot be done. Someone had the guts to tell me that I was digging a hole or a pit at the center of the city without the knowledge of how I'm going to fill it. To the glory of God, today it is not only done, but done excellently and on record time. Projects of this nature are landmark signatures for every city, for urban planning purpose and municipal identification. They are conventionally named in line with this tradition and in keeping faith with what it represents and symbolizes in the city and other state, I hereby named the overhead bridge and great interchange with on the pass as Adamawa Unity Bridge. Performing the flag of former President Olusegun Obasanjo lauded the developmental projects executed by Governor Fintry for the past five years, noting that such efforts will better engender development in other sectors of the state's economy. After urban renewal and urban development, which had to be a continual effort, we must not forget rural development and particularly the issue of insecurity, which are driven many of our people from the rural area to the urban area. Governor, we have to do our utmost best to ensure security so that our people can go back to their, what I will call their area of uh, we, we, their habitat, which is uh, close to them and they know well. And then, of course, they go on to produce food and live their normal life. Earlier, Governor Manuel Fintry had led the team that welcomed the former president at Yola International Airport. Gibson saw Adugo, Trust TV News, Yola.